How you guys doing? I thought it would be a really cool video to show you guys what it's like in Norwich for a week and how I spend my life living up here. I really thought you guys would enjoy to see this and if you guys were interested in becoming a member of the Corps Cadets at Un Norwich University, this video will help you out because I know a few members of the team are interested. Well, this morning we had a uh, room inspection kind of thing on this, uh, this awesome tour of my beautiful campus. I'm going to start off real simple with uh, my entirety of my room. Uh, we have right here the racks, uh, bakers on the bottom, unmade because he's a potato. Uh, really all that is is because after inspection he crawled back into bed and I answered some emails instead. Um, I'm on the top rack up here. Um, this is baker's side of underneath and then I have that little cabinet. Uh, he keeps his shit on the wall. That's our extra guest chair. We have another one underneath the bed. Um, this is his desk. This is my old chair. Uh, I mean, we got, you know, the extra fans because it gets hot as shit. We got our fridges. My desk over here. We got my breakfast, freaking peanut butter and apple. Got my monitor along with my laptop listening to WPDH. Got my morning coffee. Got Cusco hanging out. Uh, my wall locker with uniforms and civvy clothes because I keep them all scattered. Only as a freshman does the whole room have to be perfect. Bakers, shit. Um, you know, the patriotism is high at this school at all times. We got American flags everywhere. So, it's always important. And we have our lovely view of the parking lot. Iron board. And we got our, our rifles tucked down there in the corner because we use them once a freaking year besides training. So, uh, it's kind of annoying that, you know, it's only the first week of September and we already still have to wear jackets. So guys, when I started filming this video, it was the anniversary of 9-11, so I'm going to show you guys uh, how we honor those that lost their lives on the day, and uh, I'm also going to show you guys what's called echo taps towards the end of the day. Uh, what basically happens is we go out on the upper parade ground, the entire Corps of Cadets completely silent at 2200, and we honor them in the best way that we can. Now I'm going to show you guys the bookstore and the, basically, gift shop. American flagged out. Can't make it through the day without. One hour later. I've got one more class, but uh, I thought I'd show you guys. We added some patriotism to the front of our door.
way to Right now I'm taking the, uh, what we call the Cadre Express. Basically what this is, is uh, a back stairwell behind the dining hall that is a shortcut that the rooks don't know about or they're just not allowed to use. Um, and it's basically just a shortcut out. Right now I'm headed to the library so you guys get to see what that looks like. multiple exhibits about where Norwich men have fallen into our great history. Um, as the United States, we have different conflicts um, that Norwich men have taken part in uh, throughout the last hundred years and more. Following the War of 1812, there has been Norwich men in every conflict that the U.S. has ever been involved in. Here are the uh, class rings. You can take a look at the size of the rings. These are in several states. weapons and have to be registered as brass knuckles. This is a statue of our founder. We have the full size one outside, which I will show you guys on my way back. Um, and uh, this is one of his uniforms. This is Captain Alden Partridge. Day three. Right now I'm on my way up to the AAC, which is the Academic Achievement Center, to take care of, you know, a shit ton of paperwork that I don't really want to take care of. Make sure you have good grades, kids, otherwise you got to deal with this crap. It's actually not too shitty of a day today, which is really nice. You happy? Why not? I joined. Hi, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, oh. oh. Hi. oh hello. Uh, hello. Matthew Jensen, Sir. president uh, of the SME. Nice to meet you. Uh, kiss babies, shake hands. Yeah. Shake um, babies, kiss hands. I'm going to pass. You know, I'm not smart, so I can't do it. You guys should put your name down. No. You won't cross it out. Yes, you will. Maybe I might join now. Uh, I've still got a boyfriend. I like shaking Oh, what's up, boys? Hey. Hey, yo, hey. They can be hey. in court. Hey. Uh, oh god, no. Yeah, he's an officer. Oh, Can't do no, no, he's doing something. He's doing something completely not illegal, but I have to film it. Just because what's your badge number? Fuck. Come on. What's your name? Black, black Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Sign up for my club and leave. I'm already in the nothing club. to do with you. I'm actually I'm in the club as well. Is this like legit?
day four. Good morning. Today is day four of this great video. And right now I am getting ready to go to class. Uh, I am a piece of crap and I slept through uh, room inspections today because no one ever comes and inspects my room. And I found out this morning someone actually came and inspected my room. So I'm probably in trouble. But We'll see how that goes. I have my favorite class this morning, which is Colonial American History, which is prior to the American colony. So it's basically uh, what else was happening around the world in the English colonies uh, and other colonies at the time that led up to the American Revolution. We actually end the class in 1775. And uh, I am excited to see what we have in store for today. So uh, let's finish getting ready. I got my bag, I got my... Can't forget the most important thing. Almost did. Uh. The UP seems uh, pretty quiet this morning. I'm actually breaking rules right now. You're not allowed to walk outside in uniform with your phone. But uh, for this video, I think I can get away with it. Right now, I'm in front of Alumni Hall, which is a Rook Barracks. That room down there that was where I lived as a freshman. One of the biggest rooms on campus. Right, is along the uh, southern part of Lake Ontario, but it goes out as far as the aft end of Lake Erie. So this is the question. Finishing up with classes for the day, I'm leaving the beautiful Kreitzberg Library, uh, and I'm going through the U building right now to go to the dining hall because I am starving. I've eaten one egg and two pieces of bacon today and like constant coffee. So I am definitely gonna go get something to eat. So right now, Rook platoons are going through what's called sergeant's training time, uh, which is their cadre go around and basically give them certain amounts of training for the evening, uh, usually after or before dinner. Um, so right now in front of me is drilling is Rook Company 4, which was the unit I was part of as a freshman. 12 o'clock midnight. Well, guys, that horrible sound just means someone set off the goddamn fire alarm in this fucking building. And someone does it all the fucking time. My Six and a half hours later. Fucking alarm. Why don't you tell the outstanding people of the world what it's like being on this glorious Norwich vacation? It, it's, it's an interesting ride. It's, it has its ups and downs. It's the best answer I've gotten so far. 
Well, I got some mail today from Casey, and just the corniness is amazing. Um, but the best part of the whole package is this bubble wrap. You want to want to say anything about what it's like to be an upperclassman at Norwich? Everyone's a faggot and an alcoholic. It's a joke. Civvy bitch. Food <laughs> sucks. See, he looks like he's faking it. You look genuinely miserable. Because I am. I'm fucking tired. I crushed a fucking rock star this morning. But I still feel like shit. But it's Friday. I know, I stay up till 2 doing homework. But it's Friday. <laughs> so because people keep stealing the pepper shakers, we have Pepin. Alright guys, it is Friday night, and uh, I have a PT test in the morning, so I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for this evening that's not too insane. I'm gonna go check out uh, check up uh, on one of my friends that's gonna be on BDO tonight, so that's gonna be a thing. But uh, until then, I'm gonna watch some Family Guy. So right now it's midnight. I know I said I'd be asleep for a PT test, but at this point I just don't care. Um, so I'm heading up to Gerard right now to see my rook brother, because he's on guard duty for the evening. So I'm gonna check on him and bring him some snacks and entertainment. So Ray, how does it feel to be uh, protecting the campus right now? Fucking tired, only bed. I lost my buzz, and now I want to kill myself. Hours later. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning, uh, and since I was helping cover the BDO shift, I didn't go to that PT test this morning, so I got up about half hour ago, and right now I'm going to go get some food in my belly. Uh, the Rooks are doing training right now on the UP, and uh, later this afternoon we have a football march down. Uh, you guys are going to get some great footage from that. It's not going to be from me, it's going to be from our professional photographer. Later. Now send Baker, now send him an invite. Well, Velby is mute. Good morning. It is the last day of this video. It is Sunday. Um, on the agenda today is brunch and then doing homework all day. Uh, my roommate is climbing Mount Washington, but I have three papers due. So... I'm going to be writing papers today. So I haven't done this in the video yet because I've been really busy at the time of day when I normally go and 
haven't thought about filming is uh, I'm making a trip right now down to the gym. That's a nice shot right there. See the back baseball field and the overlook. Um, but I'm walking down to the gym right now. I'm taking the back way just so I can talk to the camera and not look weird. So right now there's some sort of event happening down at the field. It's probably a soccer game or probably a uh, high school football game, most likely. All right, a nice half hour in the gym. Not bad. Right now, I'm in uniform on a Sunday, which normally doesn't happen, but I have to take my Rook Brothers guard duty shift until he gets back because he asked me to, and I'm not looking forward to it. Now that I've signed in for guard duty, I am the acting regimental duty sergeant, which basically means I am second in command in the guard shack right now. Right now I'm responding to a fire alarm in South Hall, which is the civilian barracks. whoop de doo Well, that was exciting. Basically, absolutely nothing. Someone was smoking in their room. And after a six hour shift, I returned to my room, coffee in hand, needing sleeping pills now, because I'm gonna sleep like a rock.